Hi everyone. Someone recently made a request on YouTube for me to make some how-to videos on Nero Vision, the video editing software. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using the Nero Vision Extra Trial. If you would like to follow along with this series, I'll put a link in the description box below where you can either download the trial or buy the product itself. Each video will have a theme, a particular effect that I'll be showing you how to do, but I may also include some basic background information that you will need to perform those tasks in the same video. So this is part one of my how to use Nero Vision video series, and I'm going to start with showing you how to make a video with a picture in picture effect. So click make movie or slideshow from the top of this menu. And you first got to choose the video format that you'd like to use. Now this depends upon where you're going to be distributing this content. If you hover over this blue icon here, you can see each country with the correct video format in brackets, the native format. So find the country that you're mainly broadcasting in and then you can choose either PAL or NTSC. Now if you're uploading to YouTube, which is of course worldwide, the native video format is NTSC, although PAL will work, it's best to keep it in the native format. So for YouTube uploads, I'm going to choose NTSC. Then you've got to choose your resolution. I would choose the HDTV 4HD, which is the highest quality HD for YouTube. And finally, the audio. If your video only has speech in, then you can get away with choosing mono to keep the video size down. But if there's music in it or any sound effects, it will be a higher quality video if you choose stereo. So that's a decision you can make depending on what your video contains. Once you've chosen these settings, you can go ahead and click the OK button. OK, for a picture-in-picture -picture effect, we're going to need two videos. So as you can see, under the My Media subheading, there's already one video there by default which comes with Nero Vision. I'm going to import another video from my hard drive so that I can demonstrate the picture-in-picture -picture effect. So to do this, you can click Import in the top right of Nero Vision, and then select Import File from this menu. So you can import a file straight from your hard drive. I'm going to use the sample videos that come with Windows for this. So I'm just going to double-click Wildlife to then import that into Nero Vision. I'm then going to drag the wildlife video onto the video one just there at the beginning. I'm then going to do the same for the other video, but this time on video two. So let's say that I want the flower meadow video to be the smaller one that's displayed over the top of the larger wildlife video. I would first left click the video on the timeline and then left click it in the video preview. As you can see, we've then got this selection box surrounding it. So just as you would a normal image in many other programs, I'm going to go to the corner and drag it to reduce the size of the image. I'm going to put it to about that. Then you can just click anywhere in the middle to drag that to the bottom. As you can see, the two aligning lines have appeared, so I can easily align that correctly with the corner so it looks nice and neat. Now this video here, if I just left click the video preview, I can see that the video is in fact too small for the viewer. And if I play that you'll see what I mean. It's not filling up the video that we want. So to do that, I can left click that video, then go to the properties subheading over here, and gently scroll down until you see scale. Then left click the arrow on the side here to expand that settings window. And then click fit to screen. And there we go, we now have that video automatically scaled to the HD resolution that we've got enabled. So now if we go to the beginning of the timeline by clicking that button and then play, we can then see that that's now nicely playing at the same time. Now if we wanted to crop it so that this video entered the same time as this video, I would drag this slider until you get to there, 
and I can see that it's 17 seconds point two three. So I would then right click wildlife and then click trim from that menu. Then grab this slider on the right hand side until mark out says 17.23. So now mark out 17.23 just there. So then click OK and that video is now trimmed to the same point as the other one. So if I play that again. They now end at the same point. So that's the end of part one. I hope you found my video useful. Please like, favourite, comment and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.